Well guys, it's Welsh Andy SC here bringing you another video into the Magic Mode show and I'd like to say thank you very much for the support on the previous video. It was outrageously good and it's the same on every other video but a lot of you actually responded to the common question day was was actually like a um, the best player that you've actually bought for cheapest price. Uh, team of the month, um, our team is playing really well. A lot of players improving, a lot of goalkeepers improving as well and also raw chances as well going up to a 71. In our first game, we're just seeing uh, the FA Cup, so we are hoping to win our see training progress because we need to get the semi-finals. So it's kind of a bit of an issue if we do end up going out now. Uh, in the first two minutes, we do end up pushing forward with uh, Albright and very close to actually scoring. So down this left-hand side, he did have Miachi on, and I had this thing of just constantly bantering them without a doubt. And you see, they Defoe even getting it ahead on a ball. And I did mention as well in our previous video with Defoe. Um, I don't know. I don't understand why his morale is really low. He said he doesn't like the management, but he actually sent me. A, oh, what a tackle by you! That's actually brilliant. I'm in time with my title as an absolute beast lately, but um, still nil nil now. Twelve minutes gone, but we do end up getting injury with Barnum, guys, a main guy in our team. He used to play centre midfield, and he's a brilliant player. And I do advise anyone who's actually going to start a team actually buy him, maybe from the start or even in season three. Brilliant player. But, um, yeah, as I said, Defoe, he scores by you now. And uh, I don't understand how his morale isn't going up. Uh, maybe because he's come to the end of his career. But he does say that he doesn't like the management. I don't know how to improve it. But he does say to me that he's enjoying his football. Uh, he wants to be in the start and 11. And I said, oh, by you, we have a quality run with all jazz. But we do get past one player. It gets ploughed by the other player. And uh, very unfortunately, they not the score. But still wonder out with Defoe actually scoring. But here we get it. It got to be the most unluckiest goal we have actually conceded without a doubt. Um, we saved the first shot, poor defending in general. Saved the first one, took out the goalkeeper with a slide, blocked the second shot, and then we end up conceding the third one. So hey, we couldn't uh, block more. So it looks like we're going to have to go into a certain leg with these guys against Brighton Hove. Um, but yeah, um, he's out for three months. Bannon, very disappointing, big uh, asset to our team, as I always say. And he's a brilliant player, and we're going to have to... In this game, we actually got um, down three plays in him. We also got Dyer playing also Miyachi. And also, we do give Solizano a run around instead of uh, Defoe, just to rest it up a little bit. And this is back in the Premier League, guys, just to let you all know. Speaking of Solizano, on the ball now, does get a shot away within the first eight minutes. So, he, d he isn't a bad player, but I got a feeling his drip, like, by here now, you'll be able to notice he... Decent acceleration, but he comes in on his foot, and it, his shooting is not the best. He does have 77 shooting, so I don't understand how it can be so bad sometimes. But uh, I don't know, it may be more just drilled shots uh, compared to finesse. So you kind of got that issue with Soul Design. Drill shots, brilliant. Any other ones are that, not really. But just after half time, guys, we do enter conceding with Evans Blake going in for the kill, and he does get a goal in the 49th minute. So here, I was like, oh, come on, lads, because he didn't deserve nothing, in my opinion. We can't see bad at him. Here, this situation could have been even worse. I had my centre back, left footed, could only shoot with his right. The worst situation, worst play to have in that particular situation. And I've noticed as well, I've got a lot of left footed. I love my left feet, feet of people, but hey, I got too many of you in my team, guys. We're gonna have to sort something out in uh, August if we do end up staying or if we do end up leaving. But here. My, another left footer, guys. They are terrible. <laughs> anyway, we do end up missing with Obi. How on earth are actually missed to draw it level as well? So, kind of big uh, knife wound, you could say, in the Premier League now. We still in fifth, but that's with uh, without Tottenham actually playing a game. So, um, I've got some scouting news for you guys. Not forgetting that, without a doubt. Um, we have got to sign a few players from Croatia. I did send them by Mercedes. They actually signed a decent few players. I didn't sign anyone from Spain. Only sent you here, so I didn't sign him. And also, I do sign the three players from uh, Argentina. One was actually uh, projected 91, which sentiment. Also, goalkeeper 85 uh, predicted, and also a left midfield, or even left back, also predicted around 90 rated as well. In our next game, guys, guys it is against Kubia. And within like the first uh, few minutes of the game, so I've noticed as well recently that we've been playing really well in the first few minutes. Uh, Me actually gets a shot away and a lovely save by Ken, who actually scored against us last season as well when we was at Swansea. But uh, Delph on the ball now does give the ball to Hurd and he does get a shot away. And uh, lovely save. Unfortunately, we couldn't get on the end of it for the actual reaction. But Defoe now cuts on inside, looks for the shot, long shot, about 20 yards out, kaboom, top right hand corner. And a brilliant goal, especially for the guy who is in form, getting goals left, right, and centre. And an absolute brilliant player as well, Defoe is. And a lot of you actually said him in your. 
bargain price and uh, whatnot. So, so he is a good player, guys. So if you can get him at the end of your con uh, at the end of his contract, awesome. But it wasn't that to last long. We do had it conceding around the 28th minute mark with uh, well bet, which was an absolute pain in the ass to defend against. I'm not gonna lie, he was an absolute pain. He, I couldn't defend against him properly or whatnot. But we got Delph on the ball now. Notice you, as I said, we got a lot of left-footed people, and so I can't exactly shoot on the right. The only player who's actually right-footed is actually Defoe. But uh, here, speaking of Defoe, we got, uh, don't know who that was, but on the head of Defoe now, headers are in. How on earth he won that? I have no idea, but he does. I'll take that all day, every day of the week. Um, two one up now in big cruising mode now till around the 80th minute. We do caught this up big time. I wonder if I was doing I should have just easy, just kept the ball and whatnot, but... By here we get broke open, poor defending. Um, I have been starting Win and Johnson. I think I'll have to start uh, Massinho, uh back up soon because he was playing well with Win, and it looks like we're gonna have to do that combination once again, unfortunately. So we do end up drawing this game to all. Uh, disappointing result, especially with uh, how we've been playing lately. We've been playing really well. The formation been working and whatnot. So pretty poor, but it maybe come from that walls result, which we deserve to win out of. So very unfortunate there, guys. So that was the end of the video a few seconds ago, actually. And like I say, thank you very much for watching. I'm glad you hope you, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you dropped the video a like. And even better, guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and drop comment on who would you like to manage in real life or even on FIFA. Personally, I'd like to go a bit more international if it was real life. But on FIFA, I would like to go in MLS or even A-League because I would like this somewhere where I would like to live. See, look, I'm thinking accommodation and everything, guys. So, guys, post in the comments who would you like to manage. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch on DSG out. Peace off. Bye.